my channel. This is actually Moon Reviews. My name is Onda Brinker and oh my god. My, my, my. We got a movie that we actually didn't know about that came out on Netflix recently. I honestly didn't know this movie was coming out until I saw it on Netflix. We got a brand new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that's been called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The third movie that's been called that. Because we have the original movie, we have the remake, and now we got the third title with the same title as the original movie. So yeah, we got a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, and let's get this shit over with. After nearly 50 years of hiding, Leatherface returns to terrorize a group of idealistic young friends who accidentally disrupt his carefully shielded world in a remote Texas town. I'm really surprised there is a new Texas Chainsaw movie. I really enjoyed the original Texas Chainsaw movie. I'm not the hugest fan of the series, but the 70s film, I'm not gonna lie, was actually a really good film. Leatherface, another iconic movie slasher of all time, one of the most terrifying in my opinion, and I honestly didn't mind the remake that came out in 2003 with Jessica Bill. I grew up with that movie, I didn't mind that movie at all. It's not a great movie or anything, but it's a fun time. And the other movies like Texas Chainsaw 3D, man, and now we got this movie. Man, and this movie is not a continuation of the remake or the other movies in the franchise, it's a continuation of the first movie. And... Literally, when I was watching this film, I was literally thinking, the guys who made the Evil Dead remake from 2013 and Don't Breathe made this film. I'm not even kidding. They made this pile of shit. What freaking happened? Oh, did I forget to tell you that this movie is also an hour and 20 minutes including credits? This is a short ass movie that does everything that's wrong with sequels from horror movies that came out a while back. And we get a lot of those recently, like Scream that came out this year, but that movie did it right. Texas Chainsaw Massacre though, absolutely didn't. This movie, honestly, so far, is one of the worst movies that I've seen in 2022. Even Leatherface in the film couldn't save this film. Because Leatherface really wasn't in the film as much as I wanted. Because this movie focuses on these new characters that are completely poorly written, completely forgettable, and they make some of the most dumbest decisions that I have seen this entire year. Seriously, these characters are completely forgettable, they're very unlikable, the acting in the film is so bland, like you don't even root for these characters, you honestly root for Leatherface to kill every single one of these characters because you don't give a shit about any of those characters in this movie. Even this movie is bringing back some characters from the original film, like Sally from the original movie, but it's not by the original actress that was in the first movie. It's played by a completely different actress. And it's so obvious that this movie is copying off 2018's Halloween. This movie is exactly that movie. It's trying to pay tribute to that movie, and oh my god, this movie is just one of the most obvious copy and paste movies that I have seen this entire freaking year. This movie is gory. Like, it's very, very gory, and that's probably the best part about this movie. Leatherface killing people, it's still entertaining, but that's like the majority bits of the film, because most of this film focuses on the new characters that we don't even care about, and this movie, honestly, for a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, this movie is one of the most boring movies that I have ever fucking seen all year. Literally. I just wanted to just not watch this movie, but obviously I wanted to watch this movie for you guys because this movie is boring. Because the acting was bland, the story was bland, the kills, even though they're entertaining, they're completely forgettable. This movie is just one of the most boring horror films that I've seen this entire year, and this is also one of the worst horror movies of the entire year, and this is one of the worst movies I've ever seen of 2022. Guys, if you want to see a great slasher film, Watch the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre that came out in the 70s. Watch that fucking movie. Do not watch this continuation because this movie brings us exactly what is wrong with those sequels that comes out recently. I hated this film, guys. This movie is one of the most painful movies that I have seen this entire freaking year. With the acting being so bland in the film, this movie is trying way too hard to be like Halloween that came out in 2018. 
it's literally a copy and paste movie with some of the most bland stories and one of the most bland kills that I have seen this entire freaking year. Guys, do not watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't even know if you remember that this movie's coming out this year. I literally did not until I saw it on Netflix. I didn't see a single trailer of the film, and a lot of people don't either because this movie doesn't have as much marketing. What do you expect? Guys, this movie sucks. This is one of the worst horror films I've seen all year. This is one of the worst films I've seen this year so far. Our movie's going to be worse than this movie. Well, 2022, bring it on. Because I am going to give Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022 an F. Ah! <laughs> Guys, do not watch this film. Please do not watch this film. Please do not. I'm not going to tell you what I think of this film because I highly don't recommend you guys seeing this film. Just let me know in the comments below what is your favourite Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. Let me know that in the comments below or what is your favourite slasher film in general. Let me know that also in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. And have a nice day.